Hi, welcome to 31st chapter in C Sharp Tips and Tricks. This video is brought to you by Ank Pro Training. In this video, we are discussing measure execution time using stopwatch in C Sharp. For latest update, please subscribe our channel. What is stopwatch? A stopwatch instance can measure elapsed time for one interval or the total of elapsed time across multiple intervals. Namespace is system dot diagnosis. So the namespace of the stopwatch is system dot diagnostics. Stopwatch properties. Elapsed gets the total elapsed time measured by the current instance. Elapsed milliseconds gets the total elapsed time measured by the current instance in milliseconds. Elapsed ticks gets the total elapsed time measured by the current instance in timer ticks is running gets a value indicating whether the stopwatch timer is running so these are all some important properties of stopwatch stopwatch methods equals determines whether the specified object is equal to the current object get time stamp gets the current number of ticks in the timer mechanism member wise clone creates a shallow copy of the current object reset stops time interval measurement and resets the elapsed time to zero restart start start new and stop these are all some important methods of stopwatch let's go for the code demo for code demo i am going to open my visual studio and i am going to create one project as a name of stopwatch demo and i'm giving the location as my e drive and select the console app dot net framework right now our project is created first i'm going to add the namespace of for stopwatch so as we know the namespace of stopwatch is using system dot diagnostics so once i added the namespace in our project right now i'm going to take in one variable as a name of watch stopwatch is class and stopwatch method is start new for starting the stopwatch and after that i am going to use a for loop in that for loop i am giving the count as well like 1000 console right line and i am going to use the next line here for that i am just taking the slash n and once the 1000 time count is over after that watch should stop so for that i'm using watch dot stop is our method and i want to see this output in our console window so for that i'm using dollar symbol i'm taking here execution time so watch dot elapsed millisecond i want to see the time in millisecond so that's why i'm just taking as a property of the elapsed millisecond so this is our stopwatch code let's see the output for the stopwatch code so for that you need to press control f5 so once you press the control f5 so you can able to see like a stopwatch is count continuously the for loop is counting a thousand times and the time is taken 2038 millisecond so this is the stopwatch execution time so for the for each loop for the thousand time counts is taken 2038 millisecond so right now i want to see the elapsed ticks for that i am going to take uh, taken as a new variable var and as i have given the name of sw here stopwatch is a class 
and the method same as a start new because we need to start the stopwatch after that I'm just taking it's a long ticks is a variable name and I want what I want to need here I want to see the elapsed ticks so I'm calling the property of the elapsed ticks and I want to see the outputs in our console window so for that ticks so let's run this program MC so let's comment this line let's run this program for press ctrl F5 so once I press F, ctrl F5 so I can see the output is 16 so my elapsed text is 16 so let's go for the like elapsed in stopwatch how it's elapsed for that so I'm going to take an as a I'm going to create an object here, a stopwatch as I'm same name as giving stopwatch only for this also and I'm creating the object here and now I want to start the watch so I'm using the method is start method here and after that I want to stop the watch so I'm just using the stop as a method here after that I need to check the time span how how much time it's taken so time span is a class and I'm giving us a name of th here, ts here stopwatch object elapsed so let's see the output in console window for that this also I'm giving us a comment here press ctrl F5 so as you can see so we are taking the time span that's the reason it's coming as a time span like a hour minute and second okay so it will take a 2832 millisecond so this is like elapsed time so this is the stopwatch program so we are just completed with the start time and stop time using the for loop and in our second program we are just completed with the elapsed ticks and in our third program we completed with the elapsed so likewise you can use methods and the properties for the stopwatch subscribe to our channel like us on facebook follow us on twitter join our group on linkedin thank you